Hello everyone. Today we will look um, the stratified uh, shuffle split from SK Learn. Uh, we will be using the same data, the housing dot CSV that we have used previously, and we use uh, such a splitting for machine learning purpose. Uh, for example, when suppose we have a region maybe say usa or and we have data from different regions say a couple of data here few data from here few data from here and a lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of data from here now if we do a sampling of this um, or randomly uh, and we have uh, we may end up ignoring this one or this one and we may get lots from here obviously so but there are cases where that may not be acceptable you may want to have some samples from here here and here uh, here proportion proportionately the stra the stratified uh, shuffle split uh, uh, is exactly that um, we are going to use for this purpose, which will um, which will which make sure that we have enough samples from each of these different categories. So let us uh, let me show you. First of all, um, we can um, we will import the data. Uh, let's import pandas. Okay. And B and so the data is. CSV. It is in the current folder. We have been using this in the previous lectures as well. And um, so uh, let us read the data pd.csv. And um, uh, so we can say data. So this is our data that we have been using. Uh, we are going to now uh, uh, make an uh, say if you look at the df dot columns. So we have here the median income. So let us make an income category, um, and um, for that, so if you look at uh, df of let us um, import so if you look at df dot median income So plt dot show. So this is what we have. So we can see that we have data going beyond eight and there's a little bit on 10, 12, 14, and, and also some on the lower side. So we are going to just compress it a little bit. So we will divide by 1.5 and use numpy seal method uh, to just round them off to the higher integer side. So uh, the seal that basically say nine pi dot seal. If I say one point five, it gives me two. So it converts into the higher uh, integer side with greater than the number that we are passed to it. So first of all, uh, just say df dot maybe ink the income 
cat income category with is df dot median income divided by 1.5 and then we are passing into numpy dot seal now if you just look at this uh, so let us before that this one and we also look this so we see that we have uh, basically compressed it a little bit we reduced that whole range even we didn't lose any data points or anything so now uh, let us categorize it so we are going to uh, keep anything above five and we are going to put all these things which is above five to five so we can use the where method for that so what we are going to do is uh, if you look at dfe dot where so we can use this where so uh, we have a condition uh, so whenever the condition is false it will be replaced with uh, the number that we pass and we have also the in place equal to true we can pass that one as well so let us do uh, df of in category dot where we are going to say df we are going to pass same thing three less than five means whenever that condition is broken we will make it five and in place equal to true um, so so this uh, now uh, if you look at in category dot describe so you see we basically have um, um, uh, it has become integers and we have maximum values only up to five and um, so now uh, if you we can also again uh, look at the sure uh, so we have made uh, it into category uh, up to five so now we are going to uh, import the stratified uh, shuffle split from sklearn Uh, if you want to have a look at it separately, we could do. So this is what we have at the moment. So you can see one, two, three, four, and five categories. That, that, that's the category that we have. So now let us import or from sklearn.model select um, model selection uh, import strat feed Spit. so this is what we want uh, strat stratified shuffle split so now um, uh, the idea is very simple let us construct a model this we can call it a split equal to this and uh, first of all we have, if you have to pass if you look at that uh, we have to pass a number of splits um, and they have test size which will keep like last time 0.2 and we can also pass the random state which is usually the magic number 42 uh, so let us uh, say one time we split it test 
uh, size is 0.2 which means out of the total set will be give 0 0.2 20 percentage for the test uh, uh, test set and we have random state equal to 42 so we got the split now if you look at split uh, now split we use split we'll call this split or split so we have to pass our df income category uh, df the main df and the target which is the income category so it will based upon the income category it is gonna split for us so let us for uh, train indices comma test indices in split dot split df and the target is income in category uh, we could say uh, we'll say train is equal to df dot locate train indices and test equal to df dot log test in so we have train it's now 16 5, 1, 2 rows and we have test so now uh, we can um, see if it works we can uh, go on and calculate uh, the proportions uh, in the test set uh, so if you can look at uh, the proportion how, how actually we have uh, done the splitting if it is actually sampling well so if you say test uh, in the test category in income in cat dot we can look at value counts the frequencies um, value counts divided by length of this so we get this let's just save that maybe we can call it as um, this is stratified at one and now we can also go on and in the total df we can calculate the proportions in a similar way so that would be say so we can call it as total equal to df in cat dot value counts by length of df in so that is coming to be this so now we have the test uh, in the boy we have both of them so now we can look at the error strat error we can say strat minus total divided by total and times maybe 100 so strat error uh, it pauses for a while so we can look at this strat error so this is what we see so uh, we have these are the numbers that we get now let us go on and uh, compare suppose if you do a pure random sampling uh, so what what is the result that we are going to get so for that again so so we have this error here so let us do from uh, um, sklearn dot model selection 
import train test split so so let's do train random comma test random equal to uh, so we train test split we pass in our df and we have um, we have to pass it again the test size is 0.2 and we have test we can pass in the random state equal to 42 so we can look at train random and test random so now it's the same thing let's uh, go on and calculate the error so first of all let's take uh, random say test rand uh, income category dot value counts uh, so we'll do same same procedure as before um, so it is where uh, and counts divided by length of this thing so and uh, so the random we get these are the numbers we get and we can use the random error would be random minus total uh, divided by total times so you can see uh, the error uh, that we are the percentage error that we are getting for the random and the strat error uh, so we can see the of course it's uh, for example this is one nine point nine seven three two three six and the same one here is minus point two four and uh, here say three is two point here it is point oh one three two zero so we can see that the strategy the stratified sampling uh, the split actually samples very well it, it is distributed across um, the the category uh, distributed across the category that we created um, so the thing is uh, very simple basically we took um, the data set used the stratified shuffle split and before that we categorized and then pass the category as the as the, as the target uh, value for the split, and then we calculate the error and compare with the random split, and it really works. Uh, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you very much.